The width tool allows you to adjust the thickness of the path or stroke. This allows you to customize the stroke more. In order to activate the width tool, you will use the shortcut Shift W or select the width tool icon. You will then hover over your cursor towards the stroke, which will then allow you to expand the stroke in and out in order to create a thinner or thicker stroke. You can add as many width points as you need, and you can also remove them by selecting on them and using the width tool, then press delete. Another creative way to use the width tool is creating smaller objects. This will save you time from using the pen tool. So for example, if you wanted to create an eyebrow and you want to save time by expanding instead of going around to create the shape, all you need to do is expand the stroke and then selecting object, expand. You will then notice that the stroke has transformed into a shape as a path surrounding is the shape. The pen tool allows you to create custom shapes, which is flexible and allows you to control the form. To practice with the pen tool, make sure the stroke is colored and the fill has no color to be able to see your shape. The pen tool is placing down an anchor point, similar to connecting the dots activity to form a shape. Creating simple straight shapes, start by the first point anywhere on the artboard. Once you have clicked down, just remember don't hold it, simply click, you will notice an anchor point that appears. The anchor point looks like a dot. You will then drag out your cursor by not holding down the mouse and you will notice a straight line appear, which is prompting it to create a straight line. You just need to click down once more, don't hold it, simply click down to create an additional anchor point. The goal is to form the desired path or shape. In order to create a shape, you just need to close the path and go back to the original point. To create rounded and curved lines, you will again place down an anchor point by clicking down. But this time, instead of letting go, hold down and you will see the curve show up and the anchor handles that appear as the extensions from the anchor point. These anchor handles will allow you to control the curve that you create. To control the direction in which the curve faces, you just need to have to understand that wherever you drag it, the curve will go to the opposite direction. So for example, if I drag down the anchor handle, the curve moves upwards. If I move it up, it will curve downwards. Once you have achieved the desired curve, you will let go and it will prompt a curve line to appear showing you the direction the curve will face when you are creating your next point. The goal is to form a desired path or shape. But in order to create a shape, you would need to close the path and go back to the original point. You can always fix your curves even if you close the path. Let's say you're tracing something and one moment you're trying to create a curve and then the next point requires you to create a straight line. In order for you to transform the point to a combination corner point, you would just need to go back to the open point and click on the anchor point to change it to allow you to create a straight point. Now to test out your understanding, try tracing a cartoon like a Tsum Tsum, like this picture, and try to trace it to the best of your ability. Set it up yourself and pause to see if you can do it yourself. If you were able to answer all the questions correctly or feel confident with your understanding, you can move on to the next video. Here are five quick tips and tools that can help you maneuver through Illustrator with ease. Zooming in and out. All you need to do is hold the Alt Option key and hover over the area in which you want to zoom. So if I want to zoom in on this object, I'll hover over the object with my mouse, hold the Alt Option key, then use the scroll feature on your mouse or your keypad, and you can scroll up to zoom in and scroll back to zoom out. Or I would hold Command Shift Plus to zoom in, Command Shift Negative to zoom out. To maneuver around zoomed in objects, the next thing I want to show you is how to maneuver around when you're zoomed in, rather than zooming out and zooming in again. All you need to do is press the spacebar key, you'll see a hand icon appear, and then you can click and drag over the area you want to go towards. There are three ways in which you can duplicate an object. First way is to select on the object, Command C to copy, and Command V to paste. Second way of duplicating is simply just to click on the object, hold on the Alt Option key, then you will see a white and black cursor on top of each other, which will indicate you can duplicate. After you see that, you would need to click and drag, and now you have a duplicated object. Last way to duplicate the object is Command C to copy, and Command F, and it'll directly 
copy and paste it on top of the pre-existing object. To align objects, you would just need to click on two objects. Once you have selected the two or more, these are the different alignment options. And if you hover over the icon, it will tell you exactly how it will align your objects. If I want to vertically align my object, I will click on the vertical alignment icon. If I want to horizontally align it, I would click on the horizontal alignment center. To add rulers and guides, if you want your objects to align, you would just need to select Command R. Then you will see a ruler guide appear on top and in the side panels. What you need to do next is click and drag down the ruler and you'll see a green line appear. Click and drag to see where you want it to be placed. If you would like to get rid of the lines, you just need to click on the green line and drag it back and bring it back to the ruler. Or you can just press command semicolon to hide it. To repeat a previous action, just select command D. This is especially great if you want to create a pattern like a flower. Test your understanding by trying out these actions and see if you can remember how to do it. It will really help you with the flow of working.